Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make slow cooker Chinese hot and sour soup. This is a tasty slow cooker replication of a dish that you'd find in most American Chinese restaurants. Now, it's not authentic to China, but it is a great American Chinese food classic that we can make in the slow cooker. We're gonna start with eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. You can use whatever mushrooms you want. So if you can use shiitake because you have that in your grocery store, feel free to use it. I'm using just some brown mushrooms and you wanna slice them on the thicker side. I'm gonna place those into my slow cooker along with a third a cup of rice vinegar and a third a cup of soy sauce. Next, we're gonna add in some sliced bamboo shoots. These are sold in a can in the Asian section of your grocery store near the soy sauce. And you wanna make sure that you buy one with strips on the label so that they're already cut. Get those in the slow cooker as well. And then add in a teaspoon of white pepper, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of sriracha sauce, and then about a tablespoon of crushed ginger. And that's fresh ginger, not dried ground ginger. Our last ingredient is tofu, and you may or may not be familiar with buying it. It's sold in packages like this, somewhere near the produce section, and it's sold in different levels of firmness. You want a firm tofu for this, not extra firm, not soft. A firm tofu is what you need for this hot and sour soup. You'll wanna drain it and then turn it out onto a cutting board. First, I'm gonna cut it in half this way. And we're gonna get little bite-sized pieces out of this. And I'm gonna start cutting it into cubes. It's really quite simple and easy to work with. Once you have it all cut up, we're gonna slide this into our slow cooker. And just scooch that in there with all of the rest of our soup yumminess. Now, of course, this is a soup, so you're gonna need some liquid. So last, we're gonna add in two quarts or eight cups of chicken broth. And if you're watching your salt content, you can always use a low sodium chicken broth for this if you want to be able to control the amount of sodium in your soup. And then once that's in, I just give it a quick, gentle stir. Just enough to combine the ingredients. Next, we're gonna pop the lid on and cook this on low for six to eight hours, or you can cook it on high for three to four hours. Just before serving, stir in a quarter cup of freshly chopped cilantro and a quarter cup of sliced green onions. Give it a stir and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.